Hello Capricorn, welcome to your you versus them reading. Okay, so quickly before I start, I just wanted to thank all of you who have subscribed, uh, been watching, been liking the videos. I'm just really grateful to you all. Thank you so much for your support. It truly means a lot. And um, <clears throat> I'm just looking forward to growing um, with you guys and being along this journey with you guys reading tarot. So it's been really amazing. Thank you so much. All right, Capricorn, we're going to take a look at your person's energy, your energy, get more about this connection. After tarot, I'll pull some oracle cards so we can get some messages there uh, in between the two of you. Please only take what resonates for you, however it resonates. If there's something on your person's side, but you feel it relates more to you, uh, your energy, please take it as you need to and only take what you need and you're willing to accept and you guys, please, please like, subscribe, and let's get started. <clears throat> All right. Capricorn's person's energy. All right. Ooh, 10 of cups. Okay. So your person feels happiness with you. They're in good energy right now. They really want this connection. They feel very happy with you. Uh, this person thinks about you in the long term. This person thinks about you and having family, having that kind of close unity, that togetherness. Wow. Definitely a lot of happiness here. A lot of success here. This is what this person wants with you very into you queen of swords they tell you they tell you all the time now if this person capricorn uh doesn't really express how deep these feelings are this person does wants to tell you there it is page of cups this person feels very into you very into you it's like can't get enough of capricorn i see more with capricorn i want more with capricorn This person's very dedicated, dedicated in making sure that not only are you happy, but there's success here. That work is put into this connection. This person also wants there to be a lot of honesty and a lot of truth between the two of you, a lot of communication between the two of you, but there's also a lot of flirting and a lot of fun here. Okay, we're going to get more, but let's go to you. Capricorn. Yeah, it's like this person wants it all with you. Oh, wow. Earth energy, queen of pentacles. All right. So <clears throat> this is a time Capricorn where a lot of you are just focusing on stability, focusing on security in this connection, making sure things are stable, but making sure things, um, are growing, making sure things are comfortable, making sure that what is needed is here. Uh, so this person may also feel that this person feels like, oh my God, like they're so compassionate. They're so caring. They take care of me. They're always there. If I need them, they're there. Uh, no matter what is going on, you are there. A very dependable person, very strong person, knight of swords, knight of wands, a lot of movement. And the hermit here. Okay. So Capricorn. A lot of you may feel that certain things are happening kind of fast or your person wants certain things to happen fast with you with the Knight of Swords energy. All right. Because this person, again, I feel like they're all in with you. And this person has so many feelings of just happiness and joy and just 
like they can't help it. It is what it is and they just want to express it. Um, so there's certain things for some of you, okay? The information, how they're feeling, it might be kind of quick. It might be kind of unexpected when this person expresses if they haven't really expressed how deep it is and what they truly want and where they see their life with you, the possibilities they see with you ahead. But again, it's like, there's a lot of passion here. Okay. There's a lot of passion here and drive. I feel like you're very determined with your person. Okay. But it's almost like, even though there's determination and you know, you aren't scared to move forward, you're ready to move forward. There still is a lot that needs to be looked into. It's almost like there's, even though there's movement here, there's still a slow pace. There's still a stillness here. So it's like communication is good. The feelings are good. Building, growing, uh, getting the connection together, right? In that essence, it's good. But then it's like on your side, there still might be certain things that you really are trying to really fill out and trying to really see, needing to know. All a part of that process with this person and you. So let's go back to your person. Okay. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Let's see. The full Capricorn. Goodness, this person is not playing with you. All right, the full strength in the Knight of Cups. What'd y'all do to this person? <laughs> okay so this person with you this person is just in it whatever it's like you want to do uh whatever you guys are just rolling with at the time even if it's just conversation like well you know they're just on your program like they're so excited and so again just focused on being happy and focus on success with you this person is ready for anything they're just down they're just, they're living in this moment with you. They are happy with you. They are feeling good. They're like, all right, let's go. You want to do this? You want to go here? What are we doing today? Okay. Like they're just in and they're loving it. This person may also want to talk to you, talk to you about certain things of how you guys can overcome obstacles, uh, avoid certain arguments or obstacles. It's really important. This person really wants this to be strong. This person really wants you to know how they handle certain things. They want to, it's like, they want you to know who they are to their core. Okay. How they handle stress, how they handle issues, how they handle communications. It's like, they just blah, like they want to just put it all out there. You know what I'm saying? That emotion, that know me, here's who I am. I want to know who you are. They want their, they want strength here with you. Capricorn in this connection, in this relationship, they want to make sure again, that there's success that you and them can overcome things together. This person is also big, I think on communication and they're very direct as well. Okay. This is very direct energy. This is very strong energy. This is very flirty energy. This is energy of let's just focus on success. Let's focus on being happy. Let's focus on just living. Let's focus on being in the moment. Let's just do Let's just be together. Knight of Cups. This person is offering real feelings. This person is in deep. Like I said before, what did you guys do to this person? Let me know. No, I'm just, <laughs> but there really is a very strong energy here of, I just want to give, I just want more. I just want to express. And for a lot of you, it might not even be there yet. You guys might still just be getting to know each other, but that communication, that's probably what's doing it. And you don't even, this communication, I'm telling you, it's pulling them in. It's reeling them in. They just can't help it. Very strong passion, desire, and compassion here between the two of you, especially this person. This person cares, okay? Definitely starting to care or they care a lot about you, Capricorn. This person is all in as far as offering, giving love, and expressing, 
true feelings, emotion with you. Having fun. A lot of fun here as well. Okay, so let's go to you. Let's get back to you. Back to Capricorn. We have for Capricorn. Temperance. Okay, see, so there's still, again, there's movement, there's communication, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, pairing here, deep connection between the two of you. Even if you guys are just starting off, just getting to know each other, that communication here is everything. Whatever you are telling this person, just being yourself, it is working. They're feeling it. They're in it. They really enjoy you. Now, on your side, Capricorn, it's almost like you guys are trying to take it at a decent pace. You're not wanting to move too fast. And some of you um, might feel the need to slow things down with this person. It's almost like tame the lion in a sense, like slow down. We're okay. We're good. Let's just, let's just roll with it. Right? Because this person is just like, rah, rah, I'm in. <laughs> but you're going to be like, okay, all right, you're in. Let's just chill out. Let's just, okay, we can both be in, but let's be in the right way. We're not going to get crazy here, okay? We're not going to get into that Knight of Swords energy to where we're just like, okay, woo, and just go with it and then let the chips fall where they may, okay? It's more so trying to bring balance here, Capricorn. You're just really focused on taking it at a decent pace, okay? A really... What feels natural? What feels normal here? And letting it flow, letting it flow in and very being very um, direct about communication. I feel like that's really important and really good with the two of you is the communication here. So it's like you're letting this person know what you like, what you don't like. You're very smart. This person also sees you as a very smart person. They might even feel like you have certain walls up, like you have certain guards up, whether it's due to the past, whether you've told this person about your past or whatever, you know, you know how that goes, Capricorn. But this person does feel like there is a block, like they're guarded. But I feel it's really just you kind of just taking the reins and kind of keeping the pace, dealing with whatever comes up, whatever comes at both of you and how you both handle it together, communicate together, what needs to be looked into for a lot of you, what you need to see. That's what's important for you. Being very practical while remaining strong and knowing what is important, what is needed and the right pace to go. Yeah. you both really like each other and you both really enjoy each other's company and you both love to talk to each other it's like you love to talk to each other pick each other's brains about just how you feel and your opinions your views your thoughts even though there's fun and there's flirtation and excitement here it's 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 big energy you know what i'm saying it's not just hi how are you Okay, no, like y'all get into it. Y'all really have discussions. Y'all really like to get into it with each other, to get to know each other, to vibe and have fun with each other. Yeah. So, but some of you might uh, be like, okay, let's just, let's just, uh, let's flow. Let's continue. I like you. Let's talk, but we're not going to get crazy. We're not going to rush. We're not just going to be led by the passion and feeling brave and excited and determined. Focus on stability is important for you, Capricorn. And I feel like it's going to help. It really is going to help with this person. I feel like it's necessary with this person, especially with that strength card here, because this person is so... They need a little bit of that patience and they need a little bit of that time 
when it comes to their feelings and when they like someone. It kind of brings balance to them in a way. That's what I'm feeling here. And I think you see that and you're being very practical and very smart about it. That's what's going to help this grow. And it is working because this person is just so into you. Okay. Let's get more here. More about this connection. Capricorn and this person. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to offer you love. Again, this person is... This person is thinking of some big things with you. Okay. They see it. They're like, wow. This is someone I can have it all with. A lot of opportunity here in love and commitment for the two of you. Three of Pentacles. Taking the time, building it, working together. Wow. Really working at it together. Really taking care of this opportunity, of this blessing, this connection. Putting a lot of time and dedication into each other. The world. There it is. More success, more completion. My goodness. This is a very strong connection. It's like, it's almost like an unbreakable bond. It's always just ready for more. Growing and moving on to the next step. What's next? Very good energy between the two of you. Three. Okay. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Six of Cups. Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay. So, Capricorn, there is someone here in this connection who does uh, feel very stressed at times. And they have a lot on their plate. But with you, talking to you, being around you, in your energy... It gives them peace. It gives them calm and it just makes them feel so good. And they love spending time with you. They love talking to you. It really helps. And this communication, again, is only sparking this person to really just fall in love with you. Really fall in love with you. But I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to take your time. A lot of you guys are going to take your time with this and not rush this. doesn't mean you don't want it. It's just, you know, you're about security and making sure that you're not going to leap into anything that's going to cause you harm, cause you damage. You know, going with the flow. Let's see. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> Four of swords. Yeah. Definitely taking your time here. Definitely thinking about this connection, uh, about what's coming at you, about how you're going to handle it as things come up. Really, again, for you, it's all about practicality, Capricorn, seeing what you need to see and rolling with it, letting things grow. Stability, security, very important here for you. Um, a lot of feelings here, a lot of passion here, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, and a lot of communication. But again, this person is just, they're just, they're done. They're all in. I should title this, what did you do to this person? But this person is definitely falling in love with you. Taking your time. So a lot of you feel that's the best thing to do with everything you've been through. And you got to roll with how you feel. You got to go with what your gut is telling you. 
So yeah, take the time to think, take the time to process all of the feelings, the emotions, the fun, the excitement, what you're learning about this person, but it does look really good. So let's get some Oracle cards here. <clears throat> let's see. Start with your person. One more. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, chained and bound. Addiction and codependency are affecting your current situation or relationship. You may feel trapped in a connection, situation, and environment. Someone may act possessive and controlling. That could be someone you know who's like this, okay? There could be someone that you've dealt with who's like this. But I'm feeling like this could also be someone from their side because this person has a lot of weight on them and they have a lot of, they have just have a lot that's bearing down on them. And it may affect you too. Wow. Take it slow. Take it slow. It's going on your side. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't rush this connection. Don't get into that night of night of swords, Capricorn. Uh, take your time to get to know each other. Let this connection unfold how it's meant to be. Don't push it. Don't push it. Don't rush it. Don't force it. Stay in that temperance energy. Stay with what you know you're doing now, what you feel you need to do. Take it slow. Let it flow. All right acceptance and optimism feeling good staying optimistic and accepting your current situation helps you attract more joy happiness into your life in general the right person will come to you when you're ready feeling good i love that all right, karmic relationship. This connection serves as a catalyst to prepare you for the real high vibrational love. You are feeling very pulled to this person. Therefore, it appears to be the real thing, but it's not. Integrate the lessons that need to be learned. And that may feel like why a lot of you are just really like you have your guard up. Okay, you've been through a lot. So you're like, hold, let's just look. Show me where you're really coming from. All right, and let things fold unfold as they will Capricorn so just take it slow all right let's see a lot of you feel like there's more that you need to see here but it does feel good feeling good It's a nice feeling. Okay. I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my levels of abundance and openness, timing and intentions. Okay. Now, maybe with this person, with the pace that you're wanting to go and the time that you're taking Capricorn, this person may feel like, well, do I really deserve Capricorn? Do they really want me? Separated or together, we are working in tandem with each other. <laughs> Past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes and that makes me afraid. I need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom. One more. When we're talking, things just come out of my mouth. And afterward, I'm not even sure why I said them. All right, there's that blunt uh, communication. Sometimes this person may feel like you're being a little harsh with the way you say things. But to you, you're just being honest. You're being real. You're being direct. All right. And they might even tell you that, you know, but you know, it, that conversation here, again, it's, it's not small potatoes. Like it's, it's heavy. It's a lot. It's serious. It's deep. It's to the point. Hmm. 
Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm just looking at this card, you guys, and I can't help but notice. You see how they're at the table and she's like holding his hand. It's like, OK, babe, like, all right, like we got this, like keeping him steady, keeping it secure, keeping it at the pace. It's, it's I don't know. It's just cute. <laughs> Very gentle way of kind of pacing the relationship and. <clears throat> Taking it slow. All right. Let's see. Okay. So, obstacles here. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. Someone here has a lot of burden. Someone here has a lot of stress and there may be a lot of obstacles that they know they need to overcome and they are trying. But the main thing is that they want to be with you. They want that strength through any obstacle coming your way. Your person. Receptive. Be ready. To receive what fate has planned for you. Acceptance. Optimism. Taking it slow. Be ready for what's coming. Be receptive. Things are happening here. Things are going to happen here. Will you be ready to receive? Hmm. Let's see. Self-focus and forgiveness. Okay. Focusing on what's important. There is a need of just focusing on self, being independent while also sharing time, taking time, staying focused, staying focused on each other, but also staying focused on other things that I need to do. It's really important here and it's good. That brings again that perfect balance, seeing what you need to see, making it work, looking into things, taking it as you need to take it, not rushing in. Now, forgiveness here. I feel like this is the kind of person that when you guys have like either uh, disagreements or this person may feel some type of way, Capricorn, I feel like they get really into their feelings. They get really into their feelings. It's like this person doesn't want to upset you. They don't like to fight. They don't like to argue. This person likes to be in good energy. They just like to have fun. They like to enjoy you. They like to be with you. They just like to live. They want that warmth, that togetherness. So when there are obstacles, I feel like this person is quick to be like, well, you know, like to make up. Because they, they don't want any animosity here between the two of you. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. I feel safe and secure when you're around. Okay. There we go. You have a way of making even the mundane things 
in life seem special. Nothing small potatoes about you and this person and your connection. You make even the small things feel special and feel fun with this person. Okay, let's see. Let's get some messages now. Start with the first one. I accept you the way you are. Unconditionally loving. This person, when this person loves, they love deep. When this person likes, they're all in. They are about that person and just want to continue to spend time and get to know you. Um, but yeah, for a lot of you, this person does have unconditional love for you. I really don't know what you're so afraid of here. Projection. So a lot of them may feel like, well, okay, why are we holding up? Why are we going slow? Why do we need to just, you know, take it this way, go at this pace? They might feel like you are afraid, afraid to jump in, afraid to take the leap, afraid to just go with it. I've had many other opportunities. For some reason, I'm still hanging on. This person is holding on to you. This person doesn't want to let go. This person really cares. They want opportunity with you. That's why they're holding on. I have shed many tears over this, over you, sadness. Yep. Okay. I cannot do any more than I have already. Peace. I'm going to focus on peace. I'm going to make thing make sure things are secure, stable, Capricorn. Will I ever see you again? Longing, longing to be with this person, whether it's physically be around each other. There's a longing here. Okay. Let's see. I suppress my feelings and emotions. Okay, someone feels like someone might suppress. I do want you. I don't want you to see my vulnerability. I need time to heal myself first. Wow. So... This person doesn't like to feel vulnerable. And I think this person knows that also they do have a lot of healing that they need to do. And that might be why they might be so, I don't want to say over the top with their feelings or their emotions because they're general, they're, they're, they're sincere, but it's like, they do still have a little bit of healing to do when it comes to things that they've been through and how it affects their emotions and their feelings. Uh, but they don't like feeling vulnerable and they don't want animosity. <clears throat> so 
of getting there. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we have I was your distraction. Someone feels like they were being a distraction or someone needed a distraction. Oh, I miss you so much. Anything else? Okay. I escape when I feel too close to you. So again, not getting too close, not moving too fast. Having a little bit of a guard up, but still a longing, still a missing, a missing to talk, a missing to be in that energy, that positive energy with this person. Okay, let's see. All right. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. That might be the uh, weight. That might be a lot of the burdens here on your person's side. But it's not going to stop them. No matter who disapproves. What this person wants is what they want. It's not up to anyone else. Okay. I miss you. Some of you here are missing each other. I need time. Okay. Ooh. Some of you are in a long distance relationship here. That's where the longing is coming from. That's where the wanting to be uh, close to each other. To have that physical touch. I was pretending to be someone else. Okay. One-sided relationship. Someone feels like it may have been one-sided. Or someone feels more or uh, more deeply about um, the person than the other. It's like, I'm all in, or you. I know how I feel about you. Do you? I'm in this for the long haul. Are you? Let's see. I wish you were here with me. For those of you who are at a distance from your person, can't be near your person at this time. They're wishing that you were with them. They want to be with you. Passion and desire. Very much so from this person with you. Unhealthy attachment, very intoxicating, very attached. This person may be very attached to you or right? are developing feelings where they're starting to feel like they're becoming very attached to you. <clears throat> I'm ashamed of how I treated you. Please don't give up on me. Water under the bridge. Mm. Wow. 
So a lot that's happened here between the two of you. Could have been harsh words. Could have been a lot of harsh words spoken in those moments of, again, not small potatoes here. Not anything here is small potatoes when it comes to you and this person and the connection. But this person still, they're, they're very attached to you. They care very deeply for you. They want you with them. For those of you at a distance, even if you're not at a long distance, but just, you know, this person wants you with them. They think of you in the long term. All right. No matter the hurtful things that were said and done here or whomever may feel like the relationship was more one sided based on feelings and knowing, knowing that I'm ready here. Okay, let's get a little more. Okay. Flighty, not knowing what they're going to do next causes you anxiety. Find love you can count on. Forgiving. They didn't mean to hurt you, but you are holding on to it. Forgiving helps you get past it. You had forgiveness as well. Come out in the other card. Yeah. Please don't give up on me. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. Water under the bridge. It's going to be some forgiveness here. To move forward, to move past it. For a lot of you. down the middle here oh intimacy closeness sexuality seclusion fantasy dreams fairy tale imagination look how fiery that card is though Vows, commitment, promises, fidelity. Making promises here. A lot of dreams, a lot of thinking. Sometimes this person may feel like, is this even true? Is this really going to happen? Does this person feel the way I feel about them? Is this a fantasy? They think about this a lot. They think about where this is going a lot, but they still have this intimacy with you. It is beautiful. It is close, very attached, wanting commitment, making promises. Wow. All right. Capricorn, that's what I have for you. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that, those wonderful things. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.